Is this on? <laughs> so much for a little noise when you're live on here. <laughs> it's starting to take like, I don't know, like a minute to get loaded, and then it does early. Tell you what it's going. <laughs> I think it's trying to catch you doing something embarrassing. That's what YouTube's trying to do. Okay. Good evening, buddy, or good evening, or good afternoon, depending on where you're watching from. Um, I'm getting all my links in order right now. I am on my first sip of coffee. So, just just a tad groggy, but, I mean, we'll get there. It won't take long. Um, okay, let me see. Tweet this out. I've got the tweet chat going if you want to use that, of course. I see Stacy's on there. Hi, Stacy. What's up? And then the YouTube comments. If you're new to this, um, you just comment underneath where you're seeing the video, and um, I see those. Uh, ideally, I see them all, but it, unfortunately, as we go along, you know, sometimes it'll stall out and big chunks will pop up. So my little disclaimer for everybody is: please, 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 don't be offended if I if I miss a comment because it's basically guaranteed that I will just because of the way this works. It's not a completely smooth system, you know? <laughs> so um, I'm doing the best I can, trying to catch as much as I can, and also when I go on long rambles, then I tend to miss things too. <laughs> so it just, it is what it is. But I think this is a great way that we can kind of chat and stuff. And hi, Raina. What's up on, over here on YouTube? We got Amanda, Elizabeth, Jackie's here. Hi, Stephanie, Lisa. Did I say Rebecca's there? Uh, Christiane, Emma, Melissa Price. Um, Tanya's here, Rachel, XGNYC, Color Makes Me Happy, um, Janelle's here, Crystal, Mariah's here. Awesome! We've got a lot of people here bright and early. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much, Carol. Good morning. Yay! I hope everybody's having a good day so far. I had to bring in some artificial light this morning. Um... <laughs> Because it's real cloudy outside. I think we're going to get some storms today or later tonight or something. So I've got my light here. Um, let me see. Getting all set up. Um, I just bought the Olay Pro X cleansing system. Have you tried it? No, I haven't. I have not tried that. Um, see, I kind of got turned off a little bit of things that were similar to the Clarisonic. Um, when I tried the Sigma cleansing and polishing tool, I really didn't like that. I thought it pulled up my skin and rotated in full circles and was a little too rough for me. Um, so then when I got the Clarisonic, which just does like a teeny tiny little um, like twitch basically of the brush, I thought that was a lot more gentle um, on my skin. But... I mean, I, I have not tried the Olay kind, so I guess what I'm getting at is um, I didn't do a whole lot of experimenting once I really um, started to try and enjoy the Clarisonic. Hi, Mill. It's okay. Yay! Good morning, Iowa. It's sunny here, says we. Uh, the Reefling says... So happy to watch live for once. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Abby. We got Utah in the house. Awesome, awesome. Wow. Do you still get snow where you live? You know what? It, it snowed the Sunday that we put up our, well, it would have been, what? One Sunday ago, not this past Sunday, but the one before we were getting snow. That was the last time we got snow around here. And wait, no. What day? Some random day last week we woke up to an inch of snow on the ground. <laughs> it, <clears throat> excuse me, it melted off right away. But um, now it's kind of, I think, getting into what we have a chance of today is like thunderstorms. Mally Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. Um, yes, that was an Emily Awards winner for high-end favorite primer. And um, I have a little comparison with that, actually, a primer 
this from the drugstore. It's not like cheap, cheap drugstore prices, but it's like a you know about a fourteen, fifteen dollar thing. It's the Garnier Five Second Blur. That's really similar to the Mali. Just in case anybody was wondering. Um, yay! Yeah, I really don't mind cloudy days. You know. If you, you you can't if you let the weather dictate your mood every time it's not sunny then you know you're losing out on a lot of good days right <laughs> I have psoriasis on my face I use foundation to help cover the red any suggestions on a good primer to help smooth the area out um well I'm not really super familiar with psoriasis type issues but I I mean I believe what you'd be dealing with are maybe some really really dry like flaking off patches kind of thing um, and I'm not sure what to tell you that would be sensitive enough for it um, because I know like when I had eczema the, the thing that really turned the tide for me was just having a prescription thing that I could put on it and it was gone and really treated and kind of hasn't been an issue since but um, for psoriasis I I'm not. I'm not positive. I, you know, I, I don't want to steer you into something since that's kind of, you know, sort of getting into a medical condition. I'm not sure what product wouldn't irritate it further or cause more of a problem. So I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody else on here has dealt with the same thing though. Oh, Beth's here. She says, "Happy to be here with y'all, <laughs> all or all y'all." <laughs> Good morning. Oh, oh, we got in Atlanta. Mila Bellaful is her. It's her second time tuning in, and she's working and listening. So let's help her be productive. <laughs> Hello, Roswell, Georgia. <clears throat> Something called Jackie's recommending Kello Coat for stretch marks. They sell it at Ulta and drugstores. Oh my gosh, Jackie's got six kids? Wow, three biological, all between the age of six and nine. That's cool. Dang, Jackie. That's awesome. Uh, in Montreal, they got a snowstorm Saturday. Oh, the real thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, a lot of times I just like glance at these names and it's like, I have no idea what it is. Um... Because of your Twitter notification, you get to see. Oh, Puerto Rico in the house. Mally is on sale today at Ulta, says Melissa. Good morning, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. Melody was waiting for this yesterday. <laughs> she thought I was super late. Turns out. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, oh, bought the five second blur last night. Good. I hope you enjoy it. Um, just keep in mind that if it doesn't work for you all over your face, if you just confine it to your poor problem areas, I think it really does a good job. Hey, Kristen's here. Her meeting got canceled, she says. Sweet. Uh, Gracie's saying she's trying the miracle blur but wants to get the Garnier. Yeah, Gracie. Um, what did you think of, of the L'Oreal Miracle Blur? Because I found it to be like, I feel like the Miracle Blur and the Garnier do very similar things for my skin, but they're like uh, opposite ends of the spectrum by the way they feel. You know, the L'Oreal is so thick. I feel like, I, I mean, you know, you've got to kind of work to, to get it all blended in. Your skin does feel smooth, but... You know, it's a little more to do. And I feel like the, the Garnier just slips right over your face. It's really nice. Um, oh, Carol says she had psoriasis and Dermablend works great. Um, a lot of Ultas sell that. Oh, thank you, Candace, for the congrats. I appreciate that. Whoa, okay. Just had a comment flurry here. <laughs> um, that e.l.f. primer is so glittery. Um, are we talking face primer, eye primer? Um, are you talking most recent face primer I mentioned? The hydrating face primer? Because I, I, 
I haven't seen any glitter in that. Um, and Karen says, psoriasis, go swimming. It disappears. Trust me. Mine doesn't exist as long as I swim regularly. Woo, fun fact. Man, I would like to be swimming. I loved to swim as a kid. But just, you know, it's just, don't, I don't have the opportunities now. I need to get a pool. That's what I need. Ooh, Morgan's here watching from the University of Kansas campus. Made it to her class really early so she can watch BB Live for a little bit. That's a smart college student. <laughs> That's cool. Kansas, how'd they do in the uh, bracket stuff? Did they get beat? Sorry if that's a sore subject. But I have a, didn't they get taken down at some point? Because I think I had them, it kind of messed up my bracket a little bit. Oh, Kimberly's here from Murray. Hi, Kathy from uh, Ohio. I almost said Idaho, <laughs> even though she clearly said Ohio. Um, <clears throat> Atlanta Suburbs in the house. Debbie Claire's here from Chicago. Um, Stephanie D got the um, she she got the lights, camera, lashes from Tarte for ten dollars. That's awesome. How many kids do you want? Ooh. Um. Well, I I would say several. I'll just put that out there. <laughs> um. I, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to try to put the cart before the horse, so to speak, because I don't even have one yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to have, you know, a little, a little family going on here with, you know, maybe a few kids. Um, thank you. Thank you, Becky. Good morning, Costa Rica. Pet tag. Oh, yeah. I've gotten more than a few requests for the pet tag. That could be a fun little vlog channel activity. Do I have to be uh, holding my pet the whole time? Because she won't She won't go for that. <laughs> uh, doing a little spring cleaning. Or should I call it sprinter? Spring slash winter. Yes, that's clever. I want to do a video on my cleaning supplies that I made. I'm, yeah, I'm really, you know, hanging my hat on that. I really... Uh, Felt good about myself after I made my old cleaning supplies. Ooh, watching from Saskatchewan, and Jen's here. Hi, Jen. Jen Beasold. Um, oops, lost ya, lost ya. Um, Samantha's here, and she's watching from the parking lot of college while she waits for her class to start. Yay! Woohoo! All the college students in the house. Awesome. Um, oh, Tallahassee. Um, if you tried the Jane Bronzer in Inspire. No, I have not. Ooh, uh, another psoriasis tidbit. Wild Irish Rose says, first aid moisture products from Sephora say they're good for psoriasis on the jar. And she loves it. And eczema, too, she says. Watching you while nursing my 12-week baby girl. She likes you, too. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Irresistible Channel, thank you so much. Tried the Debbie tried the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. She says she really likes it. Good, good. Um, Annery has a story to tell, it looks like. Um, oh, she had fun at Ulta being able to do the, and again, it jumps down on me, uh, being able to do the It Cosmetics makeover and meet Jamie. What a lovely gal. Real deal. Her hubby is also the nicest guy. Um, Bye Bye Redness is one of the holy grails. Run to try it out. Seriously. That's so cool. I had seen um, like a post on Instagram or something kind of advertising that Jamie was going to be in an Ulta um, somewhere up there in the Northeast. Uh, and that's really cool. I got to meet her when I did my thing at QVC where I got to interview a bunch of, uh, you know, big wigs. And she was awesome. She's really, really nice. And she seems to just really love what she does. So you can just tell. Um, ooh, 
Uh, Antonella's here, and she says, congratulations for your baby. I'm expecting my fourth baby. It's a boy. So happy. We have three girls. <laughs> you needed to shake it up a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> Get a boy in there. Oh, thank you. The real thing. I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. Now I'm going to know every time I see your name. Shiseido uh, Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Intensive Eye Contour Cream. I have not tried that, but Harmony Jackie has heard it's one of the best on the market. Um, good inexpensive moisturizer brands ideas for super dry skin. Flaky dry patches. Candace, Candace, get yourself, uh, take it from me, take it from Kristen Game and anybody else who's on this bandwagon, but get a tub of the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It's more than you'll, you may ever need in a lifetime, but you'll have it. And it's really great for spot treating like your driest areas. Because I've been doing that some still. Like anywhere I'm a little bit dry, like extra dry, um, I add that in, and it just it works really well. It's a great kind of overnight uh, treatment type thing for your skin. It's much more heavy duty than any other moisturizer I have. So, and it's really inexpensive. You get a ton for your money. And if you want more info, I have a. I think I did a full review on that product on the Express Channel. Um, if you go to the channel page, which is youtube.com slash beautybroadcastx, and you scroll down to, I've got them all, everything's all organized up like you were shopping at Sephora. So you just go down to like the skincare, and it should be um, included under there. Ooh, Susan's faves bought the Too Faced a la mode. Can't wait for it to get there. Oh, I think you're going to like it. It's a fun, fun palette. Um, yes, my beauty is my fashion YouTube channel that's stealing my videos. Yes, I have reported them twice. <laughs> um, I, I've not seen, normally it seems like stuff like that gets, gets taken care of pretty quickly. So I'm going to try to get a hold of my one, like, YouTube contact person and see if anything can be done because they just keep taking videos and... Um, you know, some of them are actually getting views, and they put like their own little um, like thingy in the corner of the screen, their own little image, like as if these are legit folks. <laughs> ah, kills me. Don't do that, people. Don't take people's stuff. Somebody worked hard on that. Um, gosh, there's so much info that people are giving on psoriasis now, so I hope you're keeping tabs. on the comments, those who had questions. Thank Melody Price, really enjoying that sleek pink lemonade blush trio. Um, oh, Gracie feels the same way about the Miracle Blur. Takes a bit to blend because it's pretty thick, but skin does look smooth after. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, we've got Finland in the house today. You know what that means. What's up, Finland? Come on, come on. What's up, Finland? Ooh, ooh. Finland has its own theme song. <laughs> Finland and only Finland. Thank you. Thank you. That's Sophia. Uh, son D. Kivst. Thank you. Uh, keeping my mind off college decisions coming out later today. Oh, love you too, Maria. Kayla's here, Chicago, Chi-Town. Oh, yeah. Morgan says they did get beat. That's too bad. Um, what was somebody saying? Kinds of lotion do you recommend for eczema? Um, well, first and foremost, seeing a doctor was the best thing I did for my eczema because I got a prescription cream, which I still have. Just for reference, um, the thing that I was prescribed was something called desonide lotion. And I had uh, some eczema spots on my face, like kind of around my eyes even. And I used that on there. It really helped like nobody's business. But at the same time, a good moisturizer that I used that didn't seem to irritate things or mess with the progress um, was the Aveeno Ultra Calming. 
a vinyl ultra calming moisturizer work very well. Um, I'm out of that right now, otherwise I'd grab it and show it to you. Oh, you thought I said seven instead of several? <laughs> I would like uh, seven children. <laughs> several. <laughs> um, the heated eyelash curler that I've had success with has been the one from Mally. Um, I've tried a couple other, like, random, cheaper ones, and... They've been a little, like, well, first off, one broke. One just didn't seem to do anything. So um, that, that's that been the one that I've liked. I just need to replace the darn battery. You, do you ever get like that? It's like, okay, I have to replace a battery. I think I'll just go back to my old one. <laughs> it's the truth. Sometimes. You're just sitting there. You just need an eyelash curler right now. I don't want to go hunt up a battery. <laughs> Um, that's what you call uh, laziness and procrastination rolled into one. Um, or maybe I'm trying to be extra efficient so I don't waste my time searching for a battery. I just do what I've got at the time. I can justify this. <laughs> Tart is going to be on Hope Look tomorrow, says Salamanda. <laughs> that's the way your name just comes to me, Salamanda. It's mud season in Iowa. Ew. Are you going to do a gender reveal party with your family? Um, maybe, but what has been brought up here is that we do a live gender reveal on for a beauty broadcast live sometime. Like make it a beauty broadcast live party and find some clever way to reveal it to you guys. I think that'd be awesome. I told Tyler, and he's game, so. But we don't know yet. It'll be a few more weeks. Oh, Jamie's here from Murray, too. Wait, do we have two separate people from Murray, Kentucky here? Hmm. Uh, best foundation, powder, and concealer for combination skin? Um, mm, not sure what your price range is like, but... A really good drugstore one is the, I, I love the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I actually hadn't picked mine up in a while, hadn't used it in a bit, but I did use it more recently and love it just as much as I always did. Um, a really good powder for mega oil control that I think just works really well and it's it's one of those hidden gem type products like it's been around the drugstore for a long time but Maybelline shine free pressed powder is very good um, if you're now the, the foundation is going to be pretty good I think about controlling oil but um, another good powder just all around good powder and if you want this powder to occasionally double as powder foundation for you check out L'Oreal True Match and for concealer, um, I'm not really sure what what your main problem area is because I'm I would probably give a different suggestion if you tell me it's dark under eyes or if it's blemishes or redness or whatever. So maybe you can um, tell me that. Whoa, Crystal's got her pr first professional job interview on Wednesday. Tips for interview makeup. Um, well. Keep it simple. Keep it polished. Stay away from loud color. Um, I mean, I would keep it neutral on the eyes and like a, a soft, like kind of natural color on your lips. I think you just want to play it safe at that point. You just want to get your foot in the door. You don't want you want your you know your accomplishments and your personality and things like that to be what speaks for you. So I would say try to you know just minimize any distractions you feel you have on your face, whether it's like a ginormous zit or mega under eye circles, you know, try to perfect those things and then keep it simple. Hmm. I'm going to skip on over to the tweet chat because I've been neglecting that. Um, oh, Shelby's able to watch this week because she got her tonsils out in horrible pain, but this helps keep my mind off of it. Well, goodness. I'm glad you made it here. 
Oh my God. Raina says, I was excited for BB Live today. I dreamt I was pregnant last night. <laughs> I had a dream that one of my friends was pregnant too. <laughs> I'm going to need to tell her that today because <laughs> she's thinking about it. So <laughs> I'm going to have to tell her. Um, I got a sign in my sleep. I also had a dream that I was playing with Barbie dolls again. So there's that. Um, oh, greetings from Bulgaria. Congrats on the big news. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Um, I know I have not tried Sedona Lace, um, but I have heard good things. I have. Yes, indeedy. Um, Beth got a free Kate Somerville facial this last weekend while at her first beauty trend show. Have you tried any of her products? Um, yeah, I have tried a few. I've tried the Exfolicate which is like kind of the signature, isn't that like the signature product of her line? Um, I liked it okay. I wasn't, uh, I don't know what I was hoping for out of that, but I didn't feel like it did amazing things for my skin, but that was just me. Um, but I haven't tried much else. I've tried the Dillo oil, and I like that. Oh my gosh, Salamanda has decided to go back to school for diagnostic sonography. I was partially inspired by you, Emily. Ideally, would like to work OBGYN. Wow! That's cool! That's awesome! Yay, Salamanda! I think that's going to become a thing the way I say your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, and Crystal just brought up the Kate Somerville Dillo Oil. Warm up your elf curler with a blow dryer. Does that mean I'd have to walk to the room that houses my blow dryer? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, that's a good idea. That does work because it heats up that metal part of it, right? <laughs> All right. Good stuff happening on the tweet chat. I'm going back over here, checking out the old uh, comment section. Oh, Debbie's here. Hi, Debbie. She's been MIA for several weeks, but finally made it here. Well, thank you for making it back. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I am very excitable lately, and I get cracked up really easily, too. I found the funniest picture on Pinterest yesterday, and I laughed about it for like a solid Two minutes, I'd say. I just sat there in, in like, crying laughter. It's this picture of um, a dog, or no, a monkey. <laughs> and he says, this is what I look like when, my, when I miss my alarm or something. And it's like the monkey's hair is, like, all over the place. It's got this sense of urgency in its eyes, like, like I mean... <laughs> Just something so funny about it. Um, I've got to repost it. I've got to get that up so everybody can see that because you you just got to see it. You may not enjoy it as much as I do, but you know. <laughs> um, do you have a review or tutorial with the Too Faced chocolate bar palette? You uh, Haley ordered it. Yes, I do, Haley. Um, it should be on my Express channel. YouTube.com/slash/beautybroadcastx um, review tutorial rolled into one, and then didn't I use that palette in another video on my main channel? May have. Um, it's not coming to me at this moment. It might come to me in <laughs> a little bit. Chipmunk time. Maddie called it. This is chipmunking. If you're new here, this is something that's fun to do. If you ever get an opportunity to photo bomb somebody, do that. Um, you shouldn't look cute. If you're looking too cute while you do it, you need to change something. Your eyebrows need to come down. Your upper lip needs to come up. You need to expose as much gum as possible. You can burrow a little bit. But then we've got people watching from work. And watching from their college classrooms. And those people need to do this too. Everybody's got to do it. If you are in a public place, I recommend scoping out your territory to the left, to the right, quickly. Done. Accomplished. 
then you're officially part of the club. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Chris is about five minutes behind. I hope you caught that Finland song. Oh my gosh, we've got Christy Ann's from Kentucky, Caitlin's from Kentucky. I tell you. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Our Vicky's got a tardy slip. Ooh, Artista. She's looking forward for the best in beauty for March and my stuff I love for March. It's already March 27th. Dang, that's coming up. I've got, I keep a little post-it note over here on the corner of my desk that I add to um, when I'm thinking about what's going to be in the best in beauty, best in beauty, best in beauty video. So I've already got a few things on there. A few things are definite sure things. Um, amen, Salamanda. Uh, she said, I love hot look, hot look, but it seriously takes forever for shipping. It takes all the fun away from the awesome prices. I've been waiting on my order from the bomb for a month now. I know what you mean. It's like, you forget. You, there's, there's, there's this period of time, like say you've ordered from Sephora or Ulta, and you've got that anticipation, and you're kind of thinking like, Okay, any day now, you know, it's going to come. And then when it comes, you're all excited. But when an order comes from Hope Look, it's like you've gone through your anticipation phase. That's worn off. And now you've, com you've completely forgotten what might be in the box when it arrives. At least that's what happens to me. And then I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's like I gave up hope for that product. <laughs> this necklace, by the way, I got this from Hope Look. I do really like it, though. Um, can you see it? Probably not. It's pink. One end is gold, and there's a little pink heart on one end of the arrow, and then there's little um, diamond-ish things on the other end. And I got this because I was thinking about um, Pi Phi. That was the sorority I was in in college, and arrows were kind of the, the symbol. And so I thought that was really cute. I love it. I really, I really, really enjoy this. Like, I, I just nuts about it. The brand is J A N I. Janny, Janie. Have you started getting any cravings? Um, kind of. Yeah, I mean, I like the the. I guess the strange thing that I feel like I've really latched on to over these few months has been popcorn. Um, I would like any kind of popcorn, white cheddar. Uh. Just regular, like bare bones, the really low calorie stuff. Like I, I have a bag of the smart food, low calorie, like thirty calories for a serving or something. Like I love that stuff, any kind, like flavored up or barely flavored. I love popcorn, and so I love that. And then sometimes maybe just certain kinds of foods just start to sound really, really good. And I feel very susceptible to uh, advertising, too, like seeing something. Okay, let me tell you. If you follow Applebee's on Twitter, which might be a bad idea, but, oh, around 9 o'clock at night, they seem to have some, like, automatic tweet that seems to go up. And it's a picture tweet. And it's of one of their delicious looking appetizers, like the artichoke dip, or the mozzarella sticks, or boneless wings, or something delicious looking. And it's like, okay, it's 9 o'clock. It's past the time I'm going to get out of, you know, my comfy clothes and head out to Applebee's. But good lord, does that look good, you know? And they tweet it, and they, you know, it's like I need that tweet a little earlier in the evening <laughs> because it looks so good. Sorry, major rant. Major rant probably bored you. I'm sorry. Ooh, Allison's going to beauty school in May, become an esthetician. She's so excited. Victoria's watching from Sweden. Thank you. Um, well, I suppose 
I could um, re refresh this page because it appears to not be working. That would be step one. But I could do face of the day because I've got some interesting things. No one, yeah, Kristen says no one looks cute chipmunking, but I actually have a picture where she looks way too cute chipmunking. <laughs> <laughs> need to work on her a little bit because she she just looks too cute when she does it. <laughs> oh, um, just a second here. Oh, my dog Rosie is laying on my shoulder watching too. Hi, Rosie. Sarah's from Oregon. She wants to know if any other Oregonians are watching. Well, yeah, I'll do face of the day. I'm just trying to get a little bit caught up here on anything I may have missed. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, let's get started. Face of the day today. I am wearing this e.l.f. hydrating primer that I had maybe shown in my e.l.f. haul. It's pretty good. I've used this most of the week. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything super hydrating about like okay it's more hydrating than some of those really um, light kind of primers like um, the Garnier it's a little bit heavier than that but I still don't find it to be like hydrating hydrating but I'll keep using that um, my foundation today I'm using the NYX Invincible fullest coverage foundation this is an interesting foundation because I think it does have really full coverage, but it's not um, like a mattifying type thing. I, you know, it, it's kind of a, it's it's a full coverage yet a natural finish. Anybody, anybody know where I'm going with this? Anybody smell what I'm stepping in? <laughs> um, you know, it's like it covers, but it's definitely doesn't go to that matte matte texture. Not saying there's shimmer in this, but and it's not it's not on the dewy end of the spectrum either, but it's just real creamy, you know? Um, it's the kind of thing I definitely feel the need to set with something because I don't want it to get too out of hand. I'm a control freak when it comes to setting stuff. Oops. Um for my concealer, I've been using this tons. This is my IT Cosmetics. The Hello Light Brightener is on one end and the Bye Bye Under Eyes on the other. I feel like I talked about this last week in the face of the day. So I use this again, um, and I will say I really like patting the Bye Bye Under Eye in with my fingers. That's kind of what I've settled on as, as the best way to blend that in. But Talk about a concealer that needs to be set with something because it looks downright shiny once you've got it on your skin. So I really need to put a powder over that, but I'm still very pleased with the coverage. And then I do the highlighter like around here. But I like that little duo. That came in that TSV that I got um, start of the year. I did set it with my Bare Minerals. That's the Summer Bisque. I did just a light dusting of some powder, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I'm the shade Medium Plus. I'm putting away as I talk. Um, and then, oh, for bronzer, I put this away, but I, I'm so loving this bronzer. Ah! <laughs> this is from Milani, and it's the Bronzer XL in Fake Tan. It's great. I, I just love it. it. This is this is a really great contouring bronzer. The more I use it, the more I like it. And then I'll take this side of it and just kind of lightly do some dusting, like top of the cheeks, you know, just around the face. And I, I really like it. Really, really like it. Um, tried out this from Tarte. This is one of those cheek stains. They they coordinate with the power pigments that I reviewed. This is the one in True Love. It's kind of it's that watermelony color that really matches my shirt. My lighting is completely washing out the color on my cheeks. But here's what I don't like about these. Um, I don't like that when I get these on my cheeks, they stay really tacky. They they're definitely um, a dewy dewy finished product. 
Um, that bothers me a little bit because I don't feel like the staining power of this stuff is incredibly in excuse me. I don't feel like the staining power of these is really intense anyway. So if it's just going to go on my cheeks and feel tacky, um, I'm not really down with it. So I'm not loving that so far. But um, and the reason why I say so far is because I've used some of the other shades like Tipsy and, and whatever, but this is my first time using the True Love. They all have the same feel to them, pretty much. I put Coralista on top of that um, because, like I said, gotta set it. Set it and forget it. And I used my Laura Geller Baked French Vanilla Highlight for a little pop uh, there on the cheekbones. And then, what's up with this e.l.f. highlighter? Elf highlight. The shade says blush gems. I can't get like anything off of here. Like just hardly any. I could not make this show up on my face. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know, folks. And then uh, on my eyes, I primed with Bare Minerals Prime Time. Somebody was talking about the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I got my Stila in the No palette during that time. This was only 20 bucks. And so I used that today. And I just went for a very soft look. I used, um, I went for kind of a Marilyn Monroe style eye in that everything's happening on top and there's no liner or there's nothing on the bottom. So I thought that was kind of cool. Like the lash is very, you know, it's kind of swoopy. These are demi wispies on the lashes. Um, but if I really wanted to do her, I don't think I would have even winged this up as much. I would have like almost brought it like down a little bit more and then up. But anyways, uh, I used the shade Wind, which is just a little bit creamy. Um, I used Rain in the crease outer corner part, blended above that a little bit with Fire. And then came back and used Wind again under my brow. But a very interesting shade in this palette is Clay. It's um, kind of like a pinky toned beige, but it's a little it's a little deeper than you'd expect. Don't pay attention to what you just saw there. It it got completely washed out. <laughs> but that's kind of a nice transition type color too. So I use that. It comes with a little eyeliner in there, and um, the lashes, like I said. Uh, this is new to me. This is the Too Faced Brow Envy. I just finished my It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better Skinny Pencil. Just used that up. There's no more. Well, there's just that little nut. <laughs> there's no more. So um, I was glad I got this here recently. And it's a little brow kit. Um, blonde and brunette. I use both shades. I use blonde all through here and brunette out in there. It's got a wax. It says setting wax, but I've had better luck putting the wax on my brow first, and then it kind of makes, it intensifies and helps these cling a little bit more. But for a more subtle, like barely there kind of thing, um, you might just go with the powder first. And then it's got a highlight that's just like this one of those matte, pinky, creamy, Highlights um, it reminds me a lot of the one end of the Milani Brow and Eye thing, the matte cream. Um, that's kind of what that is. So I, I've enjoyed this. I must say I find every product in here something that I would use like every time I do my brows. Don't love the tweezers, but there's a little angled brush that's very much usable and then a little... Uh, uh, spoolie thing. There is a guide and some stencils in there too in the little guide. So I've just been using that a few times now and I will keep using it and review it. So sorry I've missed so many comments now. Oh my lip color is from the Baby Lips Pinked line and it is Rose Rush. Kind of a creamy pinky shade sort of matches my top a little bit. So, oh, um, I, sorry I missed tons of comments while I did that. Nothing personal. 
um, just was talking and didn't see comments. Anna's here. She's late. She says, <laughs> tardy slip. Stasha got the How About Them Apples palette. She loves it. Yay. Ooh. Lifetime Learner 007 is watching for the first time. It's spring break. She's watching from Los Angeles, and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Um, no, Beth, I haven't seen that. Interesting. Interesting tip. Candace said she heard the Knicks' fullest coverage wasn't really fullest and melted off the face at some point. It's pretty new to me, so I can't comment too much on on staying power yet. But yeah, it's, it's a different, it's a totally different thing from like. Sorry, I had something on my forehead. Very different from like Rimmel's Stay Matte. You know, this is full coverage, but it, it gets extremely matte. The other, I still think it's full coverage, but it it doesn't get to that matte place, so it's still kind of, some people might not think that's full coverage, but I mean, I, I really think it is covering, because I got some stuff to cover, and it, and it does, but. Does anybody know where I can buy inexpensive heels for prom? That's Lip Gloss Lover. She's talking about it on uh, the YouTube channel, if anybody knows. Oh, Tin, Tina Delia makes a note in her calendar so it reminds her of the broadcast. <laughs> Hi, Romania. Thank you for watching. more get ready with me videos yes I do <laughs> they're probably the, the most um, since I do music and then I pump out of the music sometimes and I speed it up sometimes they take a take me a good long while to edit but I will do more tried any of the physicians formula organic line um, yeah I've tried a couple of the mascaras wasn't too nuts about them but um, I know some people really are Oh, thank you, Cha. Glad you're here. Is the in the know palette as good as in the light? Well, um, the thing about in the know is that it's completely matte. And some people really want that, and some people maybe don't <laughs> you know if you want more variety and finishes I would say get in the light but if you want like matte basic shades like this I mean we're talking dark matte brown matte black um, transitiony type colors great mid-tones highlights this is super super basic I'm not sure whether I like this better than in in the light yet um, because I've only experimented with a couple different kind of like combinations of colors but I really do like it, and I think Stila's eyeshadows have really nice textures, and I think they do mattes really well. So I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. <laughs> um, have you felt the baby move yet? No, I haven't. I have not. But it's so strange because, like, we could tell from the 10-week ultrasound that it was moving around in there like we could see it um, moving so it's like you know that movement is happening but you can't really feel it yet so <laughs> I can't wait to I do I think that's gonna be amazing and probably really like what <laughs> what was that oh thank you Emmy thanks Jamie love you Checking over here on the tweet uh, chat. Thank you, Ibis. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, does anyone remember any only talking about the new Wet n Wild color icon eyeshadow five pan palettes? We just got them. Um, Stacy, are you talking about these? Um, it was a video I did on my main channel like shortly before Christmas. Um, was when I, I talked about and swatched these and reviewed them. It was this and like the the Wet n Wild balm stains and just a, a bunch of different new random things that they had. So if you go back just a little ways on my channel, it'll bring that up if you're interested. Interesting that you just now got them though. Would you like a boy or a girl? Um, I would like either. <laughs> Um, I would like to, I guess I'll just put it this way, I would like to eventually have um, both in our family, you know, so whatever order it, it happens in is cool, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be exciting absolutely either way. Mm, a single shadow in that burnt orange shade. Kat Von D, I know Nadia. I am, I'm with you. I know exactly what you're talking about. That burnt orange, and I will find you one. Mm -hmm. Just give me a moment here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I believe I found one, although I don't know how badly you want to order it. But that's what I got. Um, burnt orange here. Hope it's not coming off too bright. It's nearly identical to the Stila. It's matte and it's from Sigma and it's called Catch. Pretty intense. Um, but that's a nice one. Uh, that was part of the like one one of their dare flare bear palettes, but there's that, and then I also pulled out this one. Um, this is a NYX single in copper, but it's not matte. It's got a little shimmer, but a similar tone, kind of that terracotta burnt orange thing, but this is deeper, a little more intense. Ch Chastity says, "I bet it's a girl." Well, we both. I've said this, I think I may have said this last time, but Tyler and I have both had odd dreams about it being a girl. He thinks it's a girl, but people are always wrong about that kind of thing. So who knows? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rosie Lip. Oh. My mom would like to share, say a thank you as well. She... Um, watches these a lot of times after the fact and she can't believe how excited everybody is and how like amazingly kind and sweet everybody's been so she wanted me to uh, convey that to you that she really appreciates you guys being nice to me <laughs> I appreciate it too of course Um, you, do you know of a cranberry shade that isn't too expensive? Yep. This, these are the benefits of having your eyeshadows organized by shade. But do I have an inexpensive one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because initially what comes to mind, oh, I remember the one that I, uh, there was a NYX shade that I don't think is any longer made, and that at one time was my dupe for Matte Cranberry. Now, I don't know if I have a newfound one on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. Well, here's an idea. It's a little more, it's a little burgundy. 
there's this is burnt plum from Elf. It's a little more like burgundy plummy, but it's still got some red. You see some red in that, right? You see some burgundy. Kind of a little bit cranberry, so that's the closest I've got at this time for a low cost one. But Max Cranberry is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade that really pops. And uh, thank you, UK Panic. Try Coastal Scents, yeah, they've absolutely got what you're looking for. Oh, Linda's here. Oh, Linda, good. Um, she slept in. She needed it after mom surgery, she says, which went well. I'm so glad, Linda. That's great. Makeup Geek has, yes, um, a couple of different finishes that are really nice for um, burlesque is a nice burgundy that has some shimmer and then bitten is like a really unique like deep red it's really pretty everybody just jogs my memory don't they thank you Jenny oh thank you so much does anyone know if those wet and wild eight pan palettes are limited edition um there are certain ones that come out, like the more recent ones that are like in white packaging were limited edition, but still like Comfort Zone and uh, the what's the purpley one, the uh, Pedal Pusher, uh, those are part of the regular line. I'm so, so, Stacia, I'm not sure if it's Stacia or Stasha, but we are doing going to do a live gender reveal. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so fun. Mm. Um, I hadn't drank hardly any of my coffee. Good morning, Chelsea. Thank you. Oh, that's exciting, Sandra. That's cool. It feels like butterflies in your tummy when you first feel the baby move. Wow, that's cool. Oh, I wanted to say thank you guys a lot if you, um, on my video broadcast Facebook page, I had asked earlier in the week for some updated like video requests. I was kind of trying to go through my list and see what do people still want to see because I've got a list that goes back a while and I just wanted to update it a little bit. And you guys had some great ideas, so thank you very much for that. I also saw came across a cool video, um, like some tag 40 makeup questions or something. Uh, I think was the thing, and I thought that might be fun to do. Um, P.O. Box, yes, I have been negligent in getting that done the past week, but I'm doing it today. I am doing it today. Today, today, today. Um, I ran across something randomly at Walgreens that struck me as something that could be a good, light, peachy-toned concealer, um, an inexpensive option. And it would work, I think, for light to maybe light medium skin. And it's the shade Light Beige from Rimmel. It says hide the blemish concealer, but it also says effectively conceals spots, blemishes, and under eye circles. And I used this the other day, and you may not be able to tell the tone very well here, but it's like a light peachy color. And it really um, counteracts your like bluish under eye circles really well. So if you're looking, that's probably the least expensive PG type thing that, that I've come across. So you might consider that from Rimmel. The shade is light beige. Just give it a look, you know. I think you see it in the store. Um, think about it. It's 102 light beige Rimmel. It's the stick.
oh, Damie's here, and it's her first time, and she's delighted. I'm delighted, too. Oh, thank you. Have you tried the Milani Color Statement lipsticks? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, go to, if you don't mind, this is just going to be the best way for me to tell you this, because I've blogged about literally every single shade of that line. I've tried them all on my lips in the various color families. So um, if you go to beautybroadcast.net and type um, type color statement into the search box, it'll bring you up the different posts. There should be pinks and berries, oranges and reds, browns and neutrals, plums and berries, and then the newest ones, like the new releases of this year. So there should be, you should come up with five blog posts about them, and it'll, each one will be on the lips. So you can see, and a little like mini review of each one, so yeah. Um, ooh, PJ Mommy's feeling a girl for me. Okay. Good. <laughs> I would see, see, I think a girl would be really fun because, you know, I'm slightly girly. Just saying. But I also, you know, a, l a little boy would be, would be a blast too. Because I've got a few little you know, slightly tomboy tendencies of in me. And it just spilled. No. And I don't have any Kleenex, Andy. Help me. I can't take care of myself. I've been spilling stuff a lot lately. I've been kind of clumsy. Did you see the brand new Too Faced palette on Sephora? Jenny, 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 um, where's mine? Jenny, is it this palette? Because I just did a tutorial with it. Friend, you got to check that out. A la mode eyes. Uh, it's on the, the uh, main channel. It's my latest video. I really like the look. I really like the way the look came out. Um, and I really, uh, you know, sometimes with tutorials, it's about, with tutorials, it's about the subtleties. It's about the subtle differences. When you've got 900 plus videos, you're going to have a lot of tutorials, and not everything's going to be some major deviation from everything. But it's about subtleties. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Ooh. Emily says, hi, Mrs. Emily. <laughs> Hello. I had a fun little thing you could do. Until you know the gender of your precious little baby, you should call him or her popcorn since you say you are always craving popcorn. My, <laughs> My cousin did that with her baby and called her pumpkin because she was due in October. Oh, that's a, that is a cute idea. Also, what time is it for y'all out there? I'm in Florida, and it's 11. It is 10 here. Yep, 10 o'clock Central Time. Kathy Lee and Hoda just came on. Apparently, Trace Atkins and his wife split after 16 years. Wasn't he in uh, rehab recently? Nix has a salmon corrector too, says Annery. Um, yeah, I've got that dark circle. Maybe the darker shades are better about this, but I have the fair, and I didn't think it was very, I didn't think it was much of a corrector, but maybe the light or, you know, the shades that would be a little deeper have a little more orangey pigment in them. I don't know. Um, I had something else out here that I was going to mention. It'll come to me. I My desk is such a mess. There is stuff on every square. Like, I, you know, I get done doing my makeup or I get done shooting a video and it's like stuff is there and I want it to be there so I remember to use it or talk about it. But <laughs> uh, I, I really would feel good if I had all this stuff into my drawers. <laughs> uh, 
Melissa's class got canceled today, so she gets to watch live. Yay! Mariah says it's a girl, too. Um, have you and Tyler played around with any names yet? Yes. We've got a pretty sure thing girl name and a few candidates for boy names at this time. And I'm not sure if we would share those before or... I think it'd be kind of cool if it came out as just a big, you know, uh, surprise with when the baby comes and then, bam, there's the name. But or, or do you like to know those kinds of things early? I don't know. How do you manage companies contacting you? Do you go through a management company or do you contact them yourselves? Companies are beginning to contact me and I have no idea what I'm doing. This is from Sal Nanda. Um, no, I do not go through a management company. Um, I just am uh, me. And if companies contact me through my beauty broadcast email address, um, a lot of times, you know, companies will say, for example, I got an email this morning and it said, we're looking to do a sponsored campaign with Garnier and what was the other brand? Physicians Formula. And wondering what you'd be interested and in, what your rate is. Um, and I, I emailed them back and I said, thank you for thinking of me. I really enjoy those do, those brands, but I don't do sponsored videos. So uh, sometimes things come to you in that way. Sometimes it's just like a brand contacts you and says, hey, um, like maybe it was Too Faced like a year or so ago. You know, we'd love to send you some products that you could think about reviewing or consider reviewing. And if it's that kind of a thing, I'm down. Um, especially when it's stuff I probably buy anyway, you know. So, uh, but if there's, if there's a, a payment or a sponsored, that's, that's the thing. Sponsored in in the realm of these beauty videos really comes down to money you know there's one thing to, to get the product for free the PR company offers you the product that is done but the the sponsored end implies that you would be paid as well so I, I'm not saying it's wrong to do that but um, it's very rare that I get that I see an offer come by for something to be paid to me that doesn't have some sort of string attached as to what I would be required to say, how often I would be required to say it, how many social media outlets I would need to be mentioning it on. I mean the list goes on and on. So there's oftentimes a string attached and that's why I don't do that. But um, it's just I think if you're starting to get contacted by companies I think you want to maybe just have a little thought in your mind about what things you're cool with doing and what things you maybe don't want to do or maybe you want to do it all you know it's just up to you it's a it's definitely a personal decision does your mom still use the Rimmel lasting finish foundation um, as far as I know yes she'll use that and what was she doing with it wasn't she um, mixing a bit of that with like a moisturizer and she my mom uh, doesn't need a ton of coverage and so I think she's maybe lightened it made it a little more lightweight in that way um, hopefully if she sees this she'll remind me um, and like next time we talk on the phone she'll be like oh yeah I am still using that but I'm pretty sure she is um, because I think fairly recently we had picked up a backup or something but she's enjoyed that very much I think that has a really nice it's a nice combination of staying power some decent coverage but not looking too flat on the skin not looking too dry not being something that's going to accentuate the lines in skin too much so I think that's been good for her um, Thank you. Thank you, Lethal Glam. Um, I've been, and, and I've been very, very disturbed by some activity that's gone on. Um, can I tell you, can I tell you a little story here? Something that recently happened that just about made me sick to my stomach. I was contacted by a girl who has a store on Etsy. 
and she said she she emailed me and said just wondering when I can expect her review on this that and the other um, you know I, I know you were at this makeup event in Ohio on this date and um, you know I was told that we could ex that the brands involved could expect to see reviews at a certain time and then she she included underneath that an email that was sent to her that was like basically saying me and five other beauty people were going to be converging at some sort of makeup event that I've never heard of and knew nothing about in Ohio on this certain date and she was trying to get brands to send stuff so we could review that and like be there and like try it on the spot and then do shoot reviews on it and then we would post those on our own channels a bunch of BS you know that was a completely made up story sent to this Etsy salesperson so she would or sent to this Etsy owner so she would send stuff to this woman for free and guess what that was a it was a whole total sham it was a total lie and I mean I felt this girl because okay she's doing like handmade jewelry and, and stuff for her Etsy store and I emailed her back and I said I'm sorry to tell you this but this is I think this is a scam you know this is somebody who has told you that there's some big you know promotion going on involving us viewers but I never never was even contacted you know that this didn't happen and she felt awful she said well I sent 130 she emailed me back and said I sent $130 worth of my goods to her and now I mean that person has basically just used it themselves I guess resold it. I mean who knows what and who knows how many other businesses that this person reached out to under the guise of I'm hosting a beauty event send stuff so I felt awful for this girl and I'm still digging into this because I like something needs to be done about that there's also been people there was a girl who was has a YouTube channel and I know who she is I'm not gonna say who it is but emailed people claiming to be me asking for free stuff I've never done that you know it's like oh it, it it's making me like slightly nauseous to <laughs> I need to tone it down um, my blood pressure probably getting too high but I, I I could I felt so bad particularly for for any business that's getting duped in this way but for a person who is kind of running her own show she's got a little Etsy store she's doing this all herself she's hand making the stuff and then she sends it off with some thought that you know this is going to be some publicity for her this is going to be some videos about her thing and you know I just it, bleh. I'm sorry um, thank you very much Yes, Linda, you may have a tardy slip. <laughs> Cheap uh, brush cup holders for your vanity. Uh, have you checked, uh, like, the office supply section? There's really cute stuff. Like, if you go to into Staples or you look at the office section of a store, like, really cute cups and little tumblers, or for the ultimate cheapest stuff. Um, let me show you. I, I, it's right in the closet nearby. Just a second. Do you have a thrift store nearby where you can look at random old dishes? Thrift shops are loaded with dishes. I found the cutest little mugs. Look how can you see the 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 pretty rows on these ceramic mugs? I think they are so stinking cute. And I'm just waiting for a way to use these. I washed them all out. And I'm going to either use them for makeup or flowers, maybe. I think flat, like some cute little flowers. Can you see them, Brit? Gliding. I know. Ugh. But they're adorable. But, you know, you'll find like random little things that would be great for sticking brushes in, sticking liners in, lip glosses, you know, you name it. I just think it's great. And, you know, you will find one of a kind, kind of unique, odd looking stuff at a thrift shop.
But I think, I guess the point of what I was saying earlier about like companies kind of getting tricked by people sending out emails, claiming to be other people, claiming they've got stuff going on and, and this and that, um, I feel like there needs to be more awareness for beauty brands as to who they're dealing with. Like they really need to, um, you know, if somebody's reaching out to them for for free goods, whether that's part of, you know, maybe there maybe there is there are legitimate events. You know, it, it it does two things. It tricks the makeup company, and then it makes people who are doing legit events or you know hoping for some sort of you know, thing that they can add to whatever the event may be or goodie bags or, you know, real things that are happening, it makes those things also, like it, it, it puts their validity in question as well whenever this stuff starts to happen. But I wish there was a way that um, companies, like a mass thing that could go out to companies saying, hey, you've got to be taking a really close look at who you're hearing from and you've got to ask questions. If anything seems remotely like uh, open-ended or odd you know you've got to look over the this stuff with a fine-tooth comb practically and it's sad but I think they've got to be very on guard you know it just yeah it's it's troubling it's troubling that that it has come to that in some ways I bet you're glad your hubby is an attorney. <laughs> you know, it's it's helpful. <laughs> um, and the thing is, we could have, in the, in the situation where someone claimed to be me over email and, like, was emailing brands and stuff like that, like, I dealt with that personally, and I feel like the issue was resolved from what I could tell, but, like, that could have gone into something much more serious, so... You never know. Hi, hi, Wayne. Hi, Diva Makeup Queen. Spin around the makeup room. Yes, let's lighten this up with the Beauty Broadcast Live game show. <laughs> uh, I will now spin about the room. I will grab five random products out of drawers, and I will give you an on-the-spot explanation or review about them. So I'm closing my eyes. Um, first drawer I touched. Yes. Um, boop. Okay. And let's go down south. All right. Mm, that. Going over here. That's three things. Four. And finally, I'll go over here and see what I pull out. Okay. Okay. Here's what we have. Interesting. Okay. Um, this may have been the first thing I pulled out. This is from Pixie. It's a little gloss. I reviewed these, I think, on my blog around Christmas time. This is like a limited edition little Christmassy thing that they put out. Little glosses. They're really sheer. They don't show up a lot. They smell like coconut. There's that. But, um, yeah, it was just, it's just like a cute little gifty thing, really. It was sold in like a four-pack. There were two more opaque colors and and two of these really light, like, shimmery, sparkly shades. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of over and done because that was like a holiday thing. I got this Moisture Renew Rimmel Lipstick in Coral Garden. I got this last year. It's showing up, it shows up as if it, like, would match my shirt, but it's definitely more orange than that. There's more orange in this. What's going on with my lighting? This is the kind of shade, actually... Yeah, the lighting that is on this is making it look much more pink, but it's got more orange, and I think this would be a shade my mom might like. It's kind of deep, very pretty. 
Um, but I like those Moisture Renew lipsticks a lot. But I wish they hadn't discontinued certain shades, like Sunset. What happened to that shade? That shade was a great dupe for Max Viva Glam 5. Where'd it go? I'll never know. Uh, Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. Is anybody a big fan of this stuff? This was kind of an average powder for me. I mean, it's not crazy coverage. It doesn't feel um, extremely like rich and super amazing, but it's it's mattifying. But um, I don't reach for it often. I really don't. I remember getting this on an, an like an emergency purchase, like I was in some random little store and I was traveling or doing some sort of event and I needed a compact with a mirror and I just picked this up and it's in the shade uh, light medium. I pulled this out. This is my Total Intensity Trio from Prestige and Fantasia. This was in my last favorite um, video, Best in Beauty. And I, this was where the mention of the sandwich method came in. That pink and that brown are gorgeous. These are wonderfully textured eyeshadows. Really feel great. Very creamy. I really like those. That's a nice trio. Um, and then the other thing I pulled out was from NYX. This is the Let Them Eat Cake palette. The nine color palettes like this are called Love in Paris. And this one has some pinks and browns. It's like strawberry ice cream and chocolate ice cream. That's <laughs> what it makes me think of for some reason. It's pretty. It's got some mattes in there for sure. Um, it's got one, two, three. It's like this little uh, plus sign here. These are the shimmers and then the mattes are kind of in the corners. But some good basics in there. I've enjoyed that palette. Um, I think I left that out when I was talking Talking about pinky palettes or something. Oh, the rose-colored shadows. This is the one I left out of that video. I Inadvertently. I didn't mean to. Um, but it's got a couple of pretty kind of soft, rosy, pinkish colors there. So, yes. Oh, thank you, Ms. Jen. Sarah Jones is here. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to see Baker. Um... Are you part of Maker or another type of partner network? No, I am not. Um, and uh, it's not necessarily that I'm not in one of those because I think they're bad, but um, from what I have researched and what Tyler has researched for me, too, um, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of control, I think, that you give up for your own channel. Not content-wise so much as just um, just relating like your Google AdSense and all that. So um, I'm very I've been in this game for a long time. I've been in YouTube for years, and I'm very protective of what I do, and don't want to like feel like I'm handing off what I've done to anybody else. Um, but also, a lot of those companies, like those networks, when they pitch to you, they pitch things like, we'll help you get more brand relationships going. And like this is a big, a big selling point that they give themselves is that they'll um, give you more opportunities to make money outside of YouTube with sponsorships. And that's just not, not a priority for me. That's not something I do, so I don't really feel the need to get involved with a third party to help me do that when that's not even something I'm interested in. So that's part of why I haven't gone there. Ooh, Moonchild's having a sick day from work and watching for the first time. Welcome. Hope you feel better soon. Rest and relax. Um, oh, Salamanda buys all of her things at thrift stores. Just bought a real bull skull last week. <laughs> you can buy, see, you can buy anything at a thrift store. Bonnie, you're so, you're so nice. 
are you going to make me cry today? Because <laughs> I might. <laughs> Thank you so That's really nice of you to say, seriously. Uh, Valerie Oliver says, don't like it. I'm not sure what she was referring to. Were you referring to this, maybe? Um, have you tried any of the Sephora Pantone Universe eyeshadow current or previous collections? I'm considering it, but don't know if they're any good. Um, no, I haven't tried any of those. And you know, I don't think I've even swatched any, like in the stores. So I just have no idea on those. Oh, Beth's got to go. Bye, y'all, she says. <laughs> see you next week. Can we see Cupcake? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I will get her. I will take that as my cue to get her. <laughs> Be right back. Here she is. Hey. Hey, do you want to turn around? Turn around this way? <laughs> she says, look at them feet. That's all I want to show you guys today. Are you mellow today? She says, it's a cloudy day. I just want to sleep. She's so precious. Yeah, you can go now. See you later. She was so sweet last night. She was la she lays with me in the evenings now, like every night. It's so cute. Um. Ooh. Um. You can get the chocolate bar palette and a full size shadow insurance for twenty nine dollars. It's on Nubo Cheap. Check her out. Check her blog out. Oh, my little elephant. I didn't realize you could see that. It was from Forever 21. It's got a little, like, rhinestone thingy there. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, I just, I like, here's what I like. Making videos. Just, just making a video. You know, talking about something that you enjoy, being excited about something, putting something together on it, editing it together, putting it out online. The simple way of things. Like, I I like... Don't you feel like things can get very complicated? All these, you know, now you're, you're connected with, with this. You're connected with this. You've got this brand that you do things for, and then they pay you. And then you've got this network that they're, you know, promoting you on. And then they're doing this, and it's just kind of like... I like the good old times. Maybe it's just because I started on YouTube. I probably sound like, a, like an elderly person right now. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. But, I mean, I, I feel like I started on YouTube when there weren't even ads on videos. You know, there was a lot of things different in 2007. And, but it was, yet it was very simple. You know, and people who were getting on YouTube and doing videos were getting on YouTube and doing videos because that's what they wanted to do. You know? And things, I just feel like sometimes the situation can get so overcomplicated. And I feel like, what do people want to do who watch YouTube? It's simple. They just want to watch. You know? They don't necessarily want that you've, you know, got some connection like this with this brand or that brand like they want an, an honest real person opinion on something that's why they're looking you up and so I just I miss I miss some of just the real genuine you know before there were people trying to pretend they were other people to get free stuff and all that like it just it hasn't it just complicated up the matter a lot 
it's not that I'm ha unhappy with what YouTube has become because I think it's grown and it's been good for online media and people who do this and people who make a living at it. I'm very pleased to be making a living at it, but it just it's 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 a little bit it's a, it's an evolving media medium. Baker is all feet. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll sit with you, I will say hi to the people for about 10 seconds, and then I'm out. Oh, Salamanda, I saw your Instagram picture of that. She made cauliflower mashed potatoes last night, and she says, dang, they were good. Tasted like the real deal, with, but without all the calories. If you were to go on an Ulta shopping spree, what would be the items you would pick up? Um... Could it be I was just daydreaming about this yesterday, <laughs> this scenario, actually. Um, I was thinking about as much as I love the Too Faced palettes, there are several that I don't have. Um, and I was thinking, you know, if given the chance, I would like to get just to, to have. Like, there's several palettes I don't have of these little style, you know, the ones like this kind of shape and size. And I, I don't have the matte one. I get so many questions about that, and it's like, why haven't you gone there and gotten that? The matte one, the romantic eye, and don't they have one that's actually like a smoky eye? No, it's a naked eye, I think. And it's different from the natural eye. Um, <laughs> but it, I just, it kind of baffled me in that I feel like I have a lot, but yet there's more that I don't have. And so if there was just like a, hey, go to Sephora or go to Ulta, get some, that'd be something like I would want to go ahead and do. Not that I need any more palettes, and that's probably what's kept me from doing this, doing that anyway. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, Monique's little Sebastian has pneumonia. I'm sorry. She's taking care of sick boys on the agenda today. Bump shot. Okay. Well, uh, here's my shirt. My shirt has wings. I could fly away today. Uh, but there's the bump. Here. There's the bump. It's, it's poking out there. <laughs> so that would be 15, 15 weeks. Yesterday I made the transition to the 15-week mark. So. Um, yeah, talking about, you see people do collaborations with companies, not sure if they're biased or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think... In the blogging, what what I've noticed is that, like, in the blogging world, as well as the YouTube video-making world, it is extremely commonplace for PR companies to send you product samples to review. Like, it is, it is kind of a, a way, of, way of life as far as that goes. There's definitely collaborations that go further than that and are more of a product or a payment type thing probably that resulted from that and you know I think you just I do think you also maybe you look at what somebody does but you also take into consideration like the way they treat other scenarios or their interactions or in dealings with other beauty brands and kind of uh, make your judgments from there but it's it, everybody has to be more aware like I said Brands need to be more aware of who they're getting contacted by, and also viewers need to be aware of that shadiness can't happen. And it's like it's like they, they, everybody needs like a consumer advocate, you know, <laughs> like they need a consumer reports on all this stuff, not just on the beauty products, but on the people who are talking about them. Salamanda says. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, 
I started on YouTube because I genuinely enjoy creating content for people to enjoy. Now that companies are trying to get involved, it's distracting me from myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does make sense. And I think as long as you, you know, Salamanda and anybody else who's doing this, you know, stay on your own course. Like, if you've got things you want to do and something like that would get in the way or you'd feel like, oh, because somebody sends me something, now I'm obligated to do a video and it wasn't a video I really wanted to do, so, um, you know, it's getting me off my track of what I wanted to talk about, then say no to it, you know? You can, it's, it's fine to politely decline and, you know, maybe there's another situation down the road where that works out, but um, I think something I tell companies too is if they do want to send me something, I make it very clear that I cannot guarantee a positive review on the product. And sorry, <laughs> there's like an airborne cat hair. Um, and so, for some, they're fine with that. And for others, they'll say, well, I think we'll pass on this then. Fine, you know, but it's that does tell me something. That sends a message, I think, when a brand is like, eh, I don't know. Uh, but I think you just need to be upfront about what you're willing to do. And don't let anybody, don't let any company try to tell you, you know, this is how it goes or this is what we do. You know, you make your own rules. And it's you, you run yourself like your own business, you know. Take charge of it. Do you like the Garnier 5 Second Blur better than the Mali Perfect Prep Primer? Honestly, um, a Mally's is great. It's a little bit more, um, I don't even want to use the word moisturizing because it's not a real moisturizing product, but I feel like maybe there's a little more element of hydration happening in that primer than the Garnier, but they're so much the same. Um, they're so, so similar. So, you know, you could save around 10 bucks and get the Garnier and probably um, like that just as well. And Mariah, I think you've got, don't you have kind of combo skin or a little bit oily sometimes? So you might, you might be more into the Garnier anyway. That's my thought. Uh, Ms. Jen ordered a Benjabel brush tree. She can't wait to get it. Yay. That's, you know, it's just such a great tool. Such a great tool. Um, yes, Bonnie, we're going to find out. We plan to find out, but it'll be a few more weeks, I think, before we can. Um, my necklace is a little pink. It's an arrow, and it's got a pink heart and some rhinestones there, and I got it on Hope Look from a brand called Janie, J-A-N-I. What fruit are we at? Um, what did it say, an orange? A navel orange. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, I love those jeans. Those maternity jeans are comfy. What do you do with product samples that they send you that you think are really bad? Um, well, I will review, I mean, unless I think, like, something arrived broken or something was seriously, like, flawed in, in the transit of getting to me, you know what I mean, like, something messed it up, um, there's a circumstance where I'd be like, I'd contact them and say, hey, this arrived broken or this, something happened to this, but if, no, if I tried the product and just really didn't like it, I, you will still see those reviews on, on my Express channel, um, I don't think it's doing anybody any favors to not talk about a product that doesn't work. Granted, it's my own experience, and it might work really well for somebody else, and I think everybody pursuing, um, anybody who's looking up someone else's individual opinion on something has got to know in the back of their mind that was just this person's deal with it, you know? Um, but I don't think you're doing anybody any favors by concealing your true thought on it if it didn't work because I think viewers should know about things like that just as much as they should know about something that was amazing because it could be a it could be a money saver you know it could be the thing that they're like oh okay I've got that skin type that you know I was gonna pick that up but maybe that's way too heavier you know like it 
if you can describe something well enough, you could really save somebody. And I think the companies need to know. You know, I think if, if something really ha has a maybe a weird packaging thing or they've got a weird, like, it's got an off-putting smell or it's got, you know, it doesn't blend out easily or it the staying power is really bad or something like that, I think companies need to know that feedback. I mean, there's a reason why I think companies companies encourage it these days. I mean, have you gone to a website lately where you could buy something and you didn't see a section provided where people could put their, like, customer reviews down there? I think that that information is valued. And um, maybe not by every company, but I do think there are, I, I have personally heard back from companies who have thanked me, even if I've given something a less than positive review, and they said, thanks for being honest about it, you know, we'll keep things like that in mind when we develop our new product. And I just think, that's really cool. You know, that's really cool that you can be perfectly honest about something and there can be companies out there that are very willing and happy to hear it. I think that's great. So, um, yes, Erin, I'm reading from both. I'm trying to. <laughs> when I'm not on a rampage of talking, gosh, it's 1040. I'm sorry. I've taken too much of your time this morning. If you're with me still, thank you. Um, cupcake is... Goodness, Cupcake will be four this June. Oh my gosh. I hadn't thought about that in a while. <laughs> She's getting old. Not really, but still. I mean, it seems like it hasn't been that long we've had her. What have you learned about making YouTube videos that you wish you had known way back when? Um, I guess... If I would have known way back then that I'd still be doing this now, um, I might have invested in a better camera just, you know, years ago <laughs> instead of starting with the cheapest thing I could find at Best Buy. Um, but that and just, I don't know. I kind of like the way things have evolved, you know. I like keeping my old videos up there when, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, when, when, you know, maybe my makeup look wasn't looking so hot or, you know, I, I, I shot that video right when I got off of work that day and I was a little frazzled and, you know, like the camera quality wasn't good and it was pointing at something that was a mess in the background and um, stuff like that. Like, that's real life. It's real life and it's an evolution. And I, I like seeing growth. In, in myself. I like seeing that in other people's channels too. I like thinking, hey, here's some, where somebody started. Here's what they wait, they did. You know, they, they learned how to edit. They got a better camera. They, you know, grew this operation on their own. It's like, a, you know, there's lots of one woman and one man shows happening out there. And I think it's exciting to see things get better and get better quality and get, you know, more informed. You learn more. Like, I just... I don't think I, I would want to change too much about the way things things kind of happened and grew and stuff like that. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer C., I appreciate that. Uh, Monique says, I've been doing some pretty different things with my channel. I'm including my boys for more of the mommy side. Made our first cooking video. Oh, that's a good idea. That's something I haven't seen a lot of, you know, involving the kids. Um, are you planning formula feeding or breastfeeding? Um, no, that's that's not TMI. Um, I, I plan to breastfeed. Did you make the teddy bear feet from your Pinterest post on Cupcake? Wait, what? Teddy bear feet. Did I... What? What was that? Teddy bear feet. I can't... Um, I'm trying to remember what pin it was. I, I can't remember. Um... Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, what color am I? Um, intensity 2. That's what I have. Yep, yep. 
Mm. Oh, that's a great idea. Wild Irish Rose says, as the weather gets warmer, I need to remember to store some of my mixed palettes flat. If they have cream liner, um, lip or cream blush, they can melt. She says, I live in a 120-year-old farmhouse, and the air conditioning isn't that great upstairs, and it gets pretty hot. That is a great thing to remember, because wouldn't that be a bummer? <laughs> you reach for one, and you're like, oh, crap. And then maybe it like seeps down into your powder stuff. That could be a hard problem to fix. That's a good idea. Um, yes, Marge. Um, Marge is just joining us. It's a weekly. I do this weekly, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central Time. And normally I don't go this long. <laughs> normally I go to about 10:30, but I've gotten on a lot of of rant, uh, rambles and etc. Yeah, these topics have been fun today. You guys have asked a lot of really good uh, questions. You got everybody kind of guides where the conversation goes. So, oh, um, for the viewer who requested cr requested cranberry, um, Allie Brooks says try L'Oreal Infallible in glistening garnet. What's your opinion on the fully raw diet? Only uncooked fruits and veggies all the time. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> well, that's all? Like nothing else? Just uncooked fruits and veggies? There was a pin of a cat's foot with a face drawn on it. Oh, and it looked like a teddy bear. Okay, yeah, I remember. There was this cute little thing, and it looked like a cat's paw. And you see, like, the, the main pad of the cat's paw, and then the little digits. And they made it look like a teddy bear. They, somebody put a little face on it. And <laughs> no, I can't do that with Cupcake, see, because she's got black um, pads on her, on her paws. And my uh, cat, Mr. Nut, my old cat that I had growing up, he had the pink, because um, he's a, a white, long-haired cat and had pink nose, you know, a little pink on his paws, so I could have done that with him. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you guys so, so much for all of the great comments um, and questions. Um, Serena's wondering about a dupe for the Alice Copper shade in the Bon, bon Jovi Palette, love that shade. Want a single in a similar shade? Kind of sounds like the you know the cranberryish colors we were talking about earlier. And somebody did just have a good um, thought on that, which was the glistening garnet from L'Oreal Infallible. And um, you know I didn't have a lot of great single ideas <laughs> in that way. So um, maybe you could check that one out next time you're in the drugstore. Oh, th <laughs> Lethal Glam, thank you so much. Lethal Glam, thank you. <laughs> She'll watch some of the old videos and, and actually likes them. <laughs> thank you very much. <gasps> for Lady Lolo says, my daughter is trying out for the University of Alabama cheer team in a couple of weeks. Any tips? Okay, so one of the most elite programs in the country for Division 1A College Cheer. That is awesome! Alabama has an amazing squad. Um, I mean, if she's trying out for that squad, your daughter is leaps and bounds ahead of any cheerleading skills I have or had ever had. <laughs> have ever had. Um, but that's great. I, I know they have an all-girl squad now, but is she doing all-girl or co-ed, I wonder? Um, I, would, I would just say... It's all about having control over your nerves and try to put yourself mentally, like I always got nervous around tryouts just like I got nervous taking tests and you've got to have mental, like control your mind and try to put yourself in a place where you feel really comfortable but you're totally on your game, you know. So uh, 
I'm sure she'll have to do stunting and stuff like that. So, I mean, even though you're sitting there, you're doing all this stuff in front of judges and, and whatnot, just try to try to get control over your mind and not let yourself get too into what you're doing and just do what you know how to do. And if you have an opportunity to do an interview, every tryout I've had, I've had to do an interview as well. And just try to be... Um, they're looking for... Colleges want really good ambassadors as cheerleaders. They don't just want somebody with talent, but they want somebody who's going to be like a really good, practically like a spokesperson, you know, especially a big school like that. You're going out and you're dealing with a lot of the public in a lot of different events and things like that. So um, just any little questions maybe you can kind of practice or, or just get comfortable with things like, you know, why do you want to be on this team? Things like that. Uh, that's really exciting. That's so cool. Oh, gosh, it is that season, though, where college cheerleading tryouts are happening again. Ever tried anything from the Strybecton line? Um, hmm. There was one, like, serum type thing that I tried a while back. I'm so sorry. I'm, this is so vague because it was a long time ago. And um, I haven't really done a lot with that line. So need to maybe try some more. I have heard good things. I've had heard of really positive, like, anti-aging type effects from that line. But I just myself haven't used enough. Raina's got a good smoothie recipe on Twitter. She has done All-Star Level 5. Oh, wow. Well, all I can say is good luck. Just try to get the nerves under control, and you'll do a great job. That's, that's really, really awesome, because I love watching Alabama compete at nationals. Um, and obviously, like, an incredible football program you get to cheer, cheer for and cheer in front of huge crowds, great stadium crowds, co-ed. Oh, my gosh. She must be tiny, too, then. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's so cool. Please, will you log on and let us know how that went? I, I think that's so cool. Favorite maternity shopping places as you continue in pregnancy? I have a feeling Ross will be in there. Oh, cool. We're due only a week apart. That's awesome, Hannah. Um, yeah, I have I need to ch look into Ross and, like, TJ Maxx and stuff like that. And um, You know, I, I'm also, my mom had a good idea. She said, told me I should do a video, like, shopping my own closet for things that I already have that would happen to work like as maternity stuff, like my maxi dresses and, you know, different kinds of pants that I might have or tops that are a little more flowy and show some of that. So I think that would be a fun video to do in the future, too, um, because a lot of people might have the same kinds of things. So um, I cheered from seventh grade through co all the way through college. I got the bug. <laughs> I got the bug in junior high, and it just didn't let go of me for like, what would that have been. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, uh, ten years. So I miss it. There are times when I feel like I'd like to go back and coach. Um, I don't know if I'd have time, <laughs> but I mean, I really, uh, anytime I sit and I watch one of those competitions again, I think, oh my gosh, you know, it's still, it's like that was my. A thing I was obsessed with before I got into the makeup stuff. Makeup was the answer to, okay, I'm not doing cheerleading in my free time anymore. What am I going to do? And then the videos kind of started. And it was out of a, like a, a need to funnel my energy somewhere, you know? And it was cheerleading for the longest time. And then when I was without it, I was kind of like needing something else to fill the void. And I do miss it. I mean, there are times where I'll go to games and I'll be like, gosh, can I go down there, just talk to them, like ask them if they've tried it this way <laughs> and go down and annoy the cheerleaders about their technique? No. Um, 
Well, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry. This has gone on like super, super long today, and I've probably taken up a ton, ton of your time if you're still here. But um, thank you. Thank you for spending time here. This is the coolest way that we have to um, interact and just go back and forth like this. So I really, really appreciate you joining in and having such great questions and comments. Um, as you can see, I am pretty much an open book on stuff. So anything you like to ask you're always welcome to here and I appreciate you sharing with me what you're doing so um, anyways the weekend's coming I hope you have a safe weekend if you're getting out on the road always don't text and drive I say that because I saw that the other day and I wanted to yell out my window so <laughs> be really careful and um, We'll see you in my next video, which will be later today on my Express channel. So, um, uh, did I have a gymnastics experience before I cheered in seventh grade? No. I wish I did. I really wish I did. Um, because I didn't really start learning to tumble until I was midway through high school and I knew I wanted to try out in college. And I, I, from teaching young kids tumbling, I know that there's a lot less fear in your earlier years than when you try to do it later on. <laughs> so I wish I would have learned to tumble sooner, but you know, <laughs> I learned eventually, so I guess that was the important thing. But uh, thank you guys again. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you all. Love you all. Thank you for your time, and I will talk to you later. Bye.